Hello and welcome to the SysCard video tutorials. My name is Sergey and today we are going to speak about general product settings. As an example, I'm going to use this hoodie because uh, it has uh, lots of options, uh, the brand and other specific things that I'll be speaking about later. Okay, in this video we will be speaking about general settings only and uh, specifically about uh, information option settings, pricing and inventory, availability and extra will be in the next video. Ok, let's roll. The name field. The name displayed at the product list and at the product page. Clear. Ok, categories. Apparel, men's clothing. Yeah, you can add other categories here and um, through these uh, categories you edit, you will be able to find this product, but I recommend you to stick to one main category here. In our way you will not be able to find uh, your products quickly. Price. Clear. Full description. We already have it. Edit content on site. The same thing uh, as with uh, the category or content on site editing, but uh, you will be redirected to the products page. Think that's clear. Status active, hidden, disabled for this product individually. Ok, images, yes, this is the main image of your product. Uh, from this image will be created thumbnails. Uh, the thumbnails created automatically by SysCard. The thumbnails are used at the category page, at the card page, at the admin panel and so on. Lots of small pictures created automatically by SysCard. You can also add other pictures by um, going to this tab and adding. Uh, these pictures, I'll be speaking about it later. Okay, uh, well, ah, by the way, you can add uh, the text here instead of the picture. For example, you don't um, have the picture, oh, it was deleted, mm, something went wrong, and you can have uh, the text here instead. For example, you can have the name of the product here. So the text will be displayed instead of the picture. Uh, let's move on. Options settings. Options type simultaneous, sequential. Well, um, let me show you how it works. Uh, first, simultaneous. Uh, this is our hoodies page, and here we have two options: color and size. Yeah, we can uh, choose them separately from each other. For example, fairway white, and uh, then large. Uh, let me refresh the page. When we choose sequential we have to choose one of the colors okay fair way white and only after that uh, we will be able to choose the size so one option comes after another that's how it works let's go back next exceptions type allows you to choose what kind of uh, combination will be used as exception uh, forbidden combination or allowed combination. Yeah, we're speaking about option combinations. I will have a detailed review of the options and the option combinations uh, in the next videos, so don't miss it. Let's keep it for now. Pricing and inventory. Code. Every product has a unique code. List price. Yeah, the price of your rivals or maybe of your suppliers or manufacturers, yeah, you can uh, add uh, the higher price here to create a discount. In stock, the same as uh, the quantity. Zero price action. Uh, do not allow customers to add the product to cart, allow customers to add the product to cart, ask customer to enter the price. Well, for example, let's change the price here and make it zero and after that Ok, uh, save it and then back uh, to the products page. Here we go. Yeah, contact us for a price. So I'm unable to add this product to the cart. But if we choose uh, allow customers to add the product to the cart, I, I think it's clear. Uh, it, it is well posted. Um, ask customer to enter the price. Yes, and then we change it we can enter the price here for example I want to pay 30 dollars for this hoodie 
I don't want to pay more. It is useful for the charity. Uh, for example, you want to sell some things and then uh, give money to poor, raise uh, the charity, help someone, and you use this option. Can be useful sometimes. All right, let's go back. Inventory. Track without options. Track with options. So uh, when you create the product combinations and add options um, to your product, just is in our case we have color and size. You can track uh, the product without options and when someone uh, buys your hoodie the quantity uh, will decrease from 20 to 19 for example uh, but when you track with options not just uh, the quantity of your product will decrease but also the quantity of your combinations yeah so when you choose track with options your combinations of products for example medium sized um, green and white hoodie will also get its own quantity uh, like 10 20 I don't know it, it depends on you and um, your number will decrease after every purchase that's how it works I will show you it later minimum order quantity maximum order quantity I think that's clear uh, for example you have to buy five hoodies at once and you cannot buy less I'll show you uh, quantity step uh, for example quantity step is two so you have to buy two hoodies at once and least quantity count um, we have 20 hoodies now and uh, least quantity count is uh, four now let me show you this construction we go here yeah change it and here we go minimum quantity for tray for hoodie is six and now we can buy uh, either six or eight ten and twelve yes uh, because uh, we have four steps here the minimum order quantity is five so we cannot uh, order less than five and we have to buy by two hoodies so six eight ten and twelve we have only four steps that's why we have four numbers here six eight ten and twelve that's how the system works it can be useful when you have a wholesale store and um, you sell lots of items at once Let's go back. And uh, the last box here is the taxes. Yeah, just check, uncheck it. It's up to you. And you can also, by the way, uh, preview your item, clone it and delete it. Speaking about taxes, when you add new taxes to your store, they will be displayed here. And you can privately check or uncheck specific taxes for the specific products. This was the first part of a general product settings review. In the next video we will be speaking about availability settings and extra general settings. Stay tuned, thanks for watching and see you in the next CSCART video tutorial.